Hey everybody, welcome to Sharon's Take. Today I want to share a story with you guys. So today I wanted to talk about my experience with laser hair removal. So um, I know a lot of you know women out there experience um, facial hair and things like that and um, it's really embarrassing. A lot of people don't like to talk about it. So I've had this problem really I feel like since I noticed it was probably when I turned like 14 and I started to notice facial hair and things like that. So um, the one thing I want to talk about at first is why I got it. Obviously I had facial hair. Um, I started to do more or less like plucking. I did waxing. I also did shaving, trimming. Um, I did a lot of different stuff and usually what happened was when I would um, pluck my chin hairs and my like my sideburns. I had coarse hairs and so when they would grow back, they would grow back as ingrowns. And so I would have to break the skin to dig it out and pluck it out again. But what would happen is I would have a bunch of marks and bruising on my face. So um, after a while, I really started getting frustrated and I really didn't know what to do. Um, it was years and years and years of going through that. So I finally came around to thinking, okay, I want to get laser hair removal and I talked to a few people who got it one person got it and had a bad experience so I kind of steer clear but I talked to two people who got it and they completely loved it and had a really good experience so I said okay I am going to try to go get my um, facial hair removed so what I did was I got a group on and you know Groupon or a living social should be in everyone's city and it should be available to you guys But um, I got that I found a really good deal and um, I started to go so a lot of people don't really know what it is Laser hair removal is basically when they take a laser to zap um, The hair and heat goes down and it burns it at the follicle so over time your hair will start to grow back very slow and very thin but after a while it'll stop growing and so i actually had a full face done and um my results with it were phenomenal i'm about six treatments in and i have no facial hair now every now like right now but there is some hair that has grown back but it's very thin and it's not really noticeable so for me it was a really good move so if there's people out there who are struggling with facial hair and things like that for me it was a very very good option and a very affordable option especially if you use Groupon or a coupon or something like that if you find it on sale but um, like I said I had facial hair here the sideburns the chin I had some on my neck um, and so I just really struggled with it I actually had a occasional chest hairs and it's really embarrassing to go through that as a woman but um it was just a really good option for me now what you will experience is when they hit you with the laser um you will feel that heat okay i just got done and i got back in my car and i'm looking at the natural light and um i noticed that my face is swollen can you see that look at that it's itchy look on my chin man anywhere a hair grew I guess she used a higher heat man I don't even know but my face is swollen and I gotta go to somebody's house I have a patient at 1130 and my face looks itchy I'm hoping they don't think I don't know it just looks itchy you will feel it go down the hair follicle for me it didn't hurt I don't know how your pain tolerance is but it just depends on your personality like my cousin Val got it and for her it was painful for me it wasn't a big deal to me it felt like you were plucking a hair or, or something to me it felt the same way so you go in they make you shave and then they go ahead and laser everything and then they'll put like aloe vera on you or lotion or, or sunblock to make sure your skin is safe so she just got done on me i did full face from here here to my neck and i do full chest so she got everything done right now and then she closed with some aloe vera gel and some um, sunscreen so when I go outside my skin won't burn. You usually start to experience results after the second treatment. So the first one wasn't, you know, I didn't notice a big difference, but the second one, um, it was dramatic. So it was something that was really good for me to go to do and I think it'd be something that would 
be um, great for you women out there who struggle with that as well. You've seen my father on my page. You see what he looks like. Well, I tell you what. Sean said she wanted you to say hello oh, to the subscribers. Oh, I just saw that at the last second. So, oh, no. you know, as my mother told me, I take after my daddy. <laughs> but not anymore. So I have about two more times on um, my Groupon and then I'll be done. I used to talk to my sisters about my facial hair and you know, one of them was like, you know, you need to stop plucking it and you need to leave it alone. Just let it grow. It's going to keep coming back. But I'm like, I'm not walking around with a beard. Literally, like, my hairs would grow. I mean, not all over my face, but there would be those few, you know, coarse hairs that would grow and they would curl up. That, that's embarrassing. What woman wants to walk around that way? So the only option that I had was to get rid of them. I had to pluck it. You know, and so I felt like it was a vicious cycle that I couldn't get out of. And I mean, it really drove me nuts. And um, the one thing, you know, even as like a woman, I didn't want to be in the mirror and then my husband see me and I'm like plucking my chin hair, chest hair, you know, sideburns, you know, that's not it to me. That's not attractive. You know, I know most men might say, hey. I love you anyway like my husband was like I don't care but I'm like that's embarrassing to me that's nothing that I want to do you're over here shaving and I'm over here shaving <laughs> no his and her razors you know <laughs> so um that's nothing I wanted to go through you know my husband was very sweet y'all seen John but he was like baby I'll I'll pluck your chin hair and I'll do that I'm like no you know so um once he told me, he was like, Sean, you just need to go get it. And I did. I made the decision. Yeah, you know, this is something I'm going to do and I'm going to go get it. So I'm and looking back on it now, you know, because I've had great results. I'm so happy that I did it. Um, and even because I got it with me, you can kind of see, you know, my um, my skin. It cleared up a lot. I mean, those blemishes started to go away because I wasn't breaking my skin. I wasn't picking on it in anymore. So my skin had a chance to heal, you know, and I didn't really have to worry about it anymore. So it was really, really great.